welcome back to my channel guys so today on my channel we will be doing some quick simple and easy halloween treats i will only be doing three treats with you guys i have about 20 ideas um some of them you may have already seen um and uh that's okay too but these are really fun and they're really simple ideas for Halloween, they're easy treats that your kids would love. And you can actually do these treats with your kids and they'll enjoy them. So we're gonna jump right in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, so these treats today are going to consist of some apple slices. So normally I use my apple slicer to do, um, you know, slicing, but I'm going the lazy route today. So we are going to have some apple slices. We also are going to be using some peanut butter, some small marshmallows. We have the spooky eyes. Gotta always have those. And then I've got some frosting here. I got this frosting on sale, two for $1 in the clearance section at Walmart and some oranges. We're also going to use some cut up pieces of celery as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pour these apples into the bowl. These are already washed, clean, green apples. Um, you guys can use any color you want, but these are very easy little tricks to do. So I'm going to start off with the apples because it's super simple. So you're going to take two slices of apples just kind of fish around for the biggest thickest ones you can find and you're going to face them this way okay and then what i would i normally do is i normally have my peanut butter outside of the jar this jar is big as hell but that's okay um you just kind of give it a little mix you kind of want your your peanut butter to not be um extremely like cool you want it room temperature kind of softened so you put a thick little nice amount on it just like this just like that so you set it down and then you can do the other side as well and the reason why you want to do both sides is because you want this to act as gums and you also want the marshmallows to be able to sit well because the marshmallows are going to act as the teeth so you'll just take some marshmallows like this and I'll show you guys, I'll bring it up closer to the camera. Um, and just a warning, my hands are gonna get messy. So every once in a while, you're gonna see me stop or even maybe lick my finger, that's okay. Cause the only people who's gonna be eating is my babies anyway. So um, I'm gonna turn it like this, okay? And then you're just going to gently set it up on top like they look just like little teeth you could add I probably could go for maybe one more tooth in there just like that sorry my dogs are barking you guys they're out there acting up so I don't know how well you guys can see it but if you pay if you look close it's a mouth these are the lips those are brown things are the gums and then the marshmallows are the teeth so I'm gonna repeat those steps a few more times for you guys. So these are fun, you guys. Um, I have a few other, um, I have a few other ideas, treat ideas that I'll be coming on camera and showing you guys very soon. I'm just gonna start off with these three. I really want uh, some of you guys, if you haven't already, to try these because they're really good and they're also healthy. So your kids can eat them at any time you can eat them at any time and they're fun and they're, they only they don't even take long so again you're going to take some peanut butter you're going to spread it on both sides okay and then you will get you some marshmallows for teeth you can use as many as you want you can also switch this up you guys and use candy corn i have some candy corn here i'll probably just see if I like how that comes out as well. But again, you'll just take this part, set it down on the top, and voila. 
there you have it. You have two open mouths with some little ugly teeth. Um, the candy corn part is easy too. The only thing is that you have to get it a certain way. You want to kind of set it down inside of the peanut butter and get the, the apple to drop just on top and you have to kind of cut off that pointy part. So it's a little bit more tedious to do, um, but we'll be moving along. So again, these are super cute though. Look at you guys, look how cute. I really, 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 really like these. Um, I forgot to add, and I don't know what, I don't even know what is going on with me. I forgot to add that we we're doing bananas as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this banana. This one's easy. Now these ones are banana ghosts. Um, you can do these any way. There's no particular way that you can do these. You can do these by simply cutting them in half and using candy googly eyes, which is what I planned on doing. Or you can um, get some black decorative icing and use that for the eyes and the mouth. It's totally up to you however you want to do it. So these are my little bananas. So I'm going to make like a little variety tray for my kids. They'll be having that right now. And again, these are so fun, you guys. I do these with my kids every year. So I don't really have much on hand for as far as black icing is concerned. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to improvise, okay? So I'm going to take this orange ice, this green icing here, and I'm just going to make some tiny little dots here. And that's going to act as my glue to stick on the googly eyes. So hopefully they will stick. We shall see. So you don't need much, just a couple little dabs. See, it already looks like some eyes. And then you just take your little icing and you draw a circle like so for an open spooky mouth. So fun. These are so fun, guys. So, so fun. And your kids can do these with no problem. There's no cutting involved as long as you have all that stuff prepped for them already. It's not too messy um, because sometimes Halloween treats can get out of control and kids tend to get a little messy with how they like to do things. So I already know how my, my babies are. They, especially my boys, they get wild and crazy with it. So let me show you guys how it looks with the eyes. So it's kind of got a little green behind it, makes it even more spooky. Look at how cute that is. They're so cute and I just love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this here and go to the next one. So get you a bunch of bananas, you guys. Get you some of these little googly eyes, get you some frosting or, you know, some type of decorative icing and you can make them look angry if you want to. So you could take your banana and kind of like give him like an evil eyebrow kind of look like that. <laughs> They're so cute. They're adorable. And your kids will, uh oh, well, one of them's melting down. That's because that is only because this particular icing had some water coming out when I squeezed it. So we'll do another. That's okay. We'll set this one over to the side and we'll just cut another one. So I hope everybody's having a good Friday. I can't tell you guys how happy I am that it's Friday. And um, I ended up taking my hours down to part time because I just can't do it. I can't do it. You guys see, if you know me, you know I am busy. And I am busy on a very frequent basis. I always got something going on in my life. So it's not gonna be easy for me at all to take on any full-time work whatsoever. So I am officially part-time. I have the best boss in the world and she totally understands. Look at that. Super cute. So you can do these simple, fun, and easy, any kind of way. I'm gonna lay them down that way they don't. The room temperature may sometimes cause the icing to run. Um, 
You could always use very cold bananas if you'd like to use cold bananas. Um, let me go ahead and finish this guy. So this one, I'm gonna make him a little eyebrow, make him look all spooky with his open mouth. My dogs are, they're extra, you guys. I have two dogs, a Frenchie and a Jack Russell Terrier. And I also have my grand dog here with me right now. She is a American Pit. So I have three dogs in my house, well, at my house. But the good thing about that is I'm very, I'm a very clean person. You wouldn't even walk in here and know I had dogs. You would never know. Look at how cute these things come out. You guys can style these any way. You could put a long string for the mouth. You can put eyebrows. You can have any color you choose. These are so easy. I'm already done with three little pieces of banana. So the next one I'm going to do is eat so simple. It's so, so simple. So you're going to take some oranges some peeled oranges, just like this. And these are pumpkins. These are gonna act as pumpkins. So they're very easy. You take your little piece of cut celery and you don't have to use celery. You can use whatever item you choose that's green. I always go with celery because it just, it works and voila. Look how easy that is. When I tell you guys swim simple and easy, I mean simple and easy. These are the most fast, easy, ways for your kids to have fun with Halloween and their uh, each treat that I made is fruit and vegetable so it's something that they can eat at the very end as well as long as their hands are clean it's simple you know they can eat this right when they're done you can press it down more um, like this to make the stuff smaller and look at how perfect that that looks it makes the perfect cute little mini sized pumpkin and that is it. You got your mouths with the teeth and you got your bananas, your spooky bananas. So what I do is I take some crushed up uh, Oreos, put them on a plate and stick these down on top and make it look like a pumpkin patch. There's so many little things that you can do with your kids to make Halloween fun. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I just wanted to share this quick video with you on how to make fun treats for your kids. I will be back with more ideas. I have several other ideas um, that you can do that are also easy, very affordable, uh, budget friendly, all that. You can make these things for very, very minimal amount of money and your kids will be happy and satisfied with them and they'll look, the appearance will look great. Now, these are not like, amazingly over the top just like great or whatever but I tell you they are cute once you get them set up on a pretty platter and you add some little Halloween sticks to them or if you add um, like I said the crushed up Oreos to give that dirt look as if they are sitting in a pumpkin patch you can't really go wrong you can't really go wrong so Again, you guys, I appreciate you all watching my channel. This was fun. This is easy. It took me, what, 10 minutes, maybe 15 because I was talking. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back to my dinner. I am cooking some collard greens. Oh, they came out so good. And some cornbread. And my son made some fish, so I'm ready to eat. Um, so anyways, guys, thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, my video, my next video that I don't want y'all to miss is the, how you turn your bed from a regular bed into a luxury hotel bed. Yes, that video I'm excited to do. Um, and I have some of my materials already, but I have like some extra like uh, duvets coming and stuff like that, that I'm excited about so I can show you guys that and you will be surprised on how well your bed will come out looking and you don't even have to spend a lot of money. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye.